With 90% of its land covered by desert, Egypt faces a monumental challenge. How to feed a rapidly growing population with shrinking arable land and an increasingly fragile water supply? The Nile River, lifeline of the nation, is under immense strain, as millions depend on it for agriculture, drinking water, and daily life. With food demand surging and farmland diminishing, the pressure on Egypt's agricultural system has never been higher. In response, the country has launched a bold and unprecedented solution, a colossal $25 billion megaproject aimed at reclaiming vast stretches of desert, transforming them into fertile farmland. But can such an ambitious plan succeed in the face of water scarcity, soil degradation, and a changing climate? Today, let's delve into Egypt's $25 billion New Nile Delta project. Exploring the scale of construction, numerous challenges, and the potential benefits behind it. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Egypt's population has surged by over 30% in the past two decades, putting immense pressure on its already strained agricultural and water resources. With over 100 million people relying heavily on agriculture and water from the Nile, Egypt has become one of the most water-scarce countries in the world. As the country's population continues to grow, the need for agricultural land becomes even more urgent. The existing Nile Delta, which has been cultivated for thousands of years, is facing multiple challenges, including soil degradation, over-extraction of water, and urban extension. The current agricultural land, which is limited to just about 3.5% of the country's total area, is not enough to meet the demand for food, especially for staple crops such as wheat, corn, and vegetables. In addition to the land shortage, Egypt is facing the ever-growing issue of water scarcity. The Nile River is increasingly under threat due to climate change. Upstream water projects like the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam and the growing demand from agriculture and industry. The country's dependency on Nile water for irrigation and drinking has reached critical levels, and without innovative solutions, Egypt may face a severe water crisis in the coming decades. Against this backdrop, the new Nile Delta project emerges as a transformative solution to address both land scarcity and water shortages. Spanning approximately 9,240 square kilometers in the northwestern desert, the New Nile Delta project seeks to reclaim dry land for agricultural use, thereby expanding Egypt's farmable area and reducing dependence on food imports. Central to this ambitious plan are three key components. The construction of a 114 kilometers artificial river, extensive land reclamation efforts, and the establishment of the world's largest wastewater treatment plant. The cornerstone of the new Nile Delta project is the new artificial river designed to supplement the Nile's water supply. This engineered waterway will transport water from the Nile to the newly reclaimed agricultural lands, ensuring a consistent and reliable irrigation source. The water for the artificial river will be sourced from the Nile River, specifically through a series of intake structures and pumping stations located near the river's course. These systems will draw water from the Nile, which will then flow through the artificial river, providing a controlled, dedicated supply to the agricultural zones. By alleviating pressure on the traditional Nile irrigation system, the artificial river aims to support the cultivation of staple crops, thereby enhancing food security and promoting sustainable agricultural practices. Land reclamation is another pivotal element of the new Nile Delta project. The initiative plans to transform a vast area of desert into productive farmland. This expansion of arable land is expected to significantly increase Egypt's agricultural output, reduce reliance on food imports, and create new economic opportunities in rural areas. The reclaimed land will also support livestock farming and agribusinesses contributing to the diversification and modernization of Egypt's agricultural sector. Integral to the project's success is the new Delta Wastewater Treatment Plant, located in El Daba. Completed in 2023, this facility is recognized as the world's largest wastewater treatment plant, 
with the capacity to process 7.5 million cubic meters of water per day. Spanning over 320,000 square meters, the plant employs advanced technologies to treat agricultural drainage water, which is then used for irrigation in the reclaimed areas. Beyond the core components, the New Nile Delta project encompasses the development of essential infrastructure to support the new agricultural zones. This includes the construction of roads, energy supply systems, and housing to accommodate the growing population in the region. Additionally, the project plans to establish industrial zones to promote agribusiness and food processing industries, thereby fostering economic growth and job creation. The New Nile Delta project will be executed in three phases. Phase 1, which will happen from 2023 to 2027, focuses on reclaiming 800 square kilometers of desert land and constructing key infrastructure, including the 114 kilometers long artificial river, water management systems, and roads. Phase 2, which will happen from 2027 to 2035, expands reclaimed land to 4,800 square kilometers and integrates the new Delta wastewater treatment plant into the irrigation system. It will also develop industrial zones and urban centers to support agricultural growth. Phase 3 will happen from 2035 to 2040 and beyond. This final phase aims for full integration of reclaimed land into Egypt's economy, optimizing water management and ensuring sustainable farming practices. The New Nile Delta project holds great promise for addressing Egypt's growing food security and water scarcity issues, but its massive scale comes with serious challenges. Chief among them is the issue of water supply. Egypt, already one of the world's driest countries, relies almost entirely on the Nile River. With climate change, population growth, agricultural expansion, and upstream dam construction intensifying pressure on this vital resource, ensuring a sustainable and efficient water management system is critical. The artificial river created for irrigation must be carefully regulated to avoid further straining the Nile. Modern irrigation technologies, along with the new Delta wastewater treatment plant, are essential for water conservation and efficient distribution. Another obstacle lies in transforming desert land into productive farmland. Desert soil, while initially barren, contains high levels of salinity, which can severely impact agricultural productivity. Soil salinization, caused by improper irrigation or insufficient drainage, can render the land unproductive. Advanced soil treatment, drainage infrastructure, and crop rotation strategies will be necessary to overcome this. Climate change further complicates the project by causing unpredictable rainfall, higher temperatures, and more frequent droughts. Factors that threaten both water availability and agricultural output. To adapt, the project must incorporate climate-resilient infrastructure and drought-tolerant crops. Environmental concerns also loom large. Large-scale desert reclamation risks, disrupting fragile ecosystems, destroying wildlife habitats, and affecting Nile River flow and biodiversity. Rigorous environmental assessments and sustainable farming practices will be vital to minimize ecological damage. The $25 billion project faces financial hurdles due to Egypt's strained economy, inflation, and foreign debt. Continued government support and international investment, possibly through incentives, will be necessary to stay on schedule. Additionally, social and political challenges persist. Social displacement due to land acquisition and resource changes poses risks. Politically, the project's success depends on government stability and consistent political support. Regulatory hurdles, including land acquisition, environmental laws, and international partnerships, could slow progress, requiring strong legal and institutional frameworks to navigate. Despite the numerous challenges that exist, once completed, the new Nile Delta project is poised to have a transformative effect on Egypt's economy. By significantly increasing agricultural production, the project will reduce the country's dependence on food imports, particularly wheat, for which Egypt is the largest importer in the world. Spending approximately $2.1 billion annually 
on wheat imports that account for about 70% of the country's wheat consumption. With global wheat prices fluctuating and climate change posing additional risks, the new Nile Delta will serve as a crucial safeguard against food security challenges. In addition, the project will create thousands of jobs in agriculture, construction, and related industries. The development of new cities and infrastructure will further stimulate economic growth and provide opportunities for investment in sectors such as real estate, manufacturing, and logistics. The new agricultural zones will also create opportunities for agribusinesses and food processing companies to expand, boosting Egypt's export potential. Furthermore, the project is expected to generate significant economic benefits for rural communities by providing access to new markets, services, and infrastructure. Improved transportation and communication networks will facilitate the movement of agricultural produce, creating new economic hubs in the region and connecting rural areas to urban centers. The new Nile Delta project is a bold step towards solving Egypt's challenges of land scarcity, water management, and food security. By reclaiming desert land and boosting agricultural production, it holds the potential to transform Egypt's economy and reduce reliance on food imports. However, overcoming challenges will be crucial to navigating this project. If successful, the project could set a global example for sustainable development in dry regions, offering valuable insights for countries facing similar issues. The road ahead demands innovation and careful management, but the rewards could be transformative for Egypt and beyond. What do you think will be the biggest challenge in completing the new Nile Delta project? Share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.